you must be Ma. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm is right over here if you'll follow me. I don't want to have to do a voice for all of the townsfolk. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm, I'm just going to talk. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. How exciting. I'm famous. I'm popular. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Very rustic indeed. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more op, though. It's funny. It's not rude. It is, it's kind of crusty and rustic. Don't listen to her, Moth. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. I love the expressions. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. I would love to. Sleep is my second favorite thing. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Will do. Ooh, excuse me. The townspeople would appreciate that, would they? Excited to get a fishing pole. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. That's weird, Lewis. Has anyone ever, like, discussed how weird that is? That he just, like, comes onto your property at night? I don't know. I don't know. It's odd. It seems odd. Got it. Ooh, I love the little cabin. Got our parsnip seeds. Wow. Living off the land. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. I'm not selling wood. That's not smart. Fortune teller. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Great. They're not happy that we moved to Pelican Town. So we're going to keep this long grassy bit because when we get a silo, um, we'll need that to fill up the silo for when we get animals and stuff. I'm going to chop these rocks. I want to put the garden at least to start out with over here it seems pretty close to the water yes it's fun to do because it gives you something to do and i like that but i don't know if i'm gonna like mm. i don't know i think i'll just take my time not try to rush it i'm getting low on energy I'm at 56 out of 270. What am I getting caught on? Oh. Okay. This tree will go. And then I should have enough for a chest after this tree, hopefully. Perfect. Um, crafting chest. Put things away and then I will grab those. Let's go meet people. I would like to get up to Robin's to meet Sebastian today. He usually leaves his room at around three, so if I time it right, it shouldn't be too hard. Oof. It's adjusting. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. 
It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Thank you. Marnie! Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Let's go meet Pierre. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Caroline. Hello, you must be Moth, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Going to meet her right now. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Hey, it's Moth, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy your produce from you for a good price. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Cool. I need beans. We'll do two. Cauliflower. And potatoes. That should be good. Two of each. That's, that's good enough to get what we need for the community center. We can meet at uh, or not. Oh, Evelyn. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. Cool. I can meet a lot of people at the saloon tonight, so I might just see about foraging as I make my way up to Robin's. To me, Pierre, not Pierre, Demetrius, Robin, not Robin. My brain is not working. Demetrius, Maru, and Sebastian is who I need to be. Ooh, and Linus. Hi, Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community community dynamic. It's exciting. Am I? I'm in her way. There we go. Hey. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals for my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. I have met your daughter. Let's go meet Linus. Still waiting for three o'clock to roll around. There we go. A stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Okay. It's not a lot of people yet, but we're making progress. I'll talk to her. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. It does sound exhausting. There's not a whole lot of people. There he is. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Cool. We met Sebastian. I don't know if you can tell or not, but Sebastian's my favorite bachelor in Stardew Valley. Need to meet Penny, Pam. Haley, Emily, Gus, George, uh, um, Vincent, Jess. Name's George, by the way, not Buzz Off. Um, Sam. I don't know if I can call everybody. Ooh, Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Cool. Where's Jody? Oh, there's Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. 
forth to the trash can like a good neighbor. That's what all good neighbors do. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. It's a quiet town, little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farm around could really change things. Elliot! Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay. Oh, Penny. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Okay. Oh, Alex. Hey, you're the new girl. New person, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. See you around. Cool, cool. There's Pam. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Nothing like a sip of the good stuff to warm these old bones. Why, hello there, I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. How many more people? Who? Sam, Shane, Haley. Okay. There she is. Haley! Oh, you're that new farmer or whatever, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. It's Haley for ya. See if we can't bump into Sam. He might be in his room, though. Yep. The blacksmith. Cl Clint! Clint. Who talked to you? Er, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need an up need to upgrade your upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Speaking is hard. Now we can go bump into Shane. I don't know you, why are you talking to me? Fair enough. So close. Noise. And that, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, hold on, and that is one day complete. Thank you so much for watching today's video, I hope you liked it, if you did, then go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button, follow me on my Twitch, I stream there sometimes, um, yeah.